So week 38 begins on the road, as you can see there from the banner, we're at the Ambitech Stadium, home of Earl FC. Completely new team, and I mean completely new, I've never seen anything of them associated with us, but let's hope we can start this one <laughs> with a bit of positives. A week that includes the double header on Friday at Wigan, and then Longridge at home on Saturday. Elm against Skem, at quarter to eight kickoff. So, we arrived at Army Tech Stadium, home of LMFC, statistics for tonight. 261 overall, 239 for Skem. Face against Ailen, we become the 19th team we've seen Skem face. All going well, 100 will come with Long Ridge Town on Saturday. Today's your first away trip, only 8 wins, so <laughs> percentage isn't great. 7th game in the Northwest Counties Football League, 2 wins, 2 draws, and 2 losses. So, someone's going to break tonight. 39th football in 2019, 17th in the 19-20 season, and also it's a 98th attendance for the year as a whole, 99 and 100. We'll come on Friday night, which means only just 19 games to equal last year, and we'll have well over three months in which to achieve that. Ale against Kem, go to it. So, half time here at Ale and one Kem is a nice no. So, full time here, Ailen 4, Scammage United 0, bad start of the week. The week continues, as you can see, Robin Park Arena here in front of us. However, that's not the destination. You can see the 19 are training, because they'll be playing next door in DW Stadium. About half five for the Academy Grand Final between Wigan and St. Helens. Successfully arrived at the DW. Watch the statistics later on. Well, it's a little earlier than usual. In fact, it's a hell of a lot earlier than usual. Five o'clock arrival. But, as you can see on the screen over there, it's for the Academy Grand Final. We've not missed one since 2014. And that's when I started doing properly. Statistics for this one, and it's a big list because of who it's against. Is against St. Helens, it's a 390th overall game. 3 6 3 for Wigan, 12th against Saints 19, doing by far and away the most viewed 19th team. Seven wins, four losses. Funnily enough, it's a four game winning streak. It's five out of seven at home, and the music got off. Sixth Academy Grand Final overall, like I say, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Just the one last, and it was against St. Helens in 2016 on Golden Point, so we want to avenge that one. It could be the 245th win overall. It's also, because of the record that went last week, a 60th Rugby League attendance for the year for me. Too clear of last year's record, and the season's not over yet. I think you can get as high as possibly 65 and that would never be beaten but it'd be a good way to end on because next year is not sorted yet for me continuing even further it's a 99th sport in attendance in 2019 and that's because the game following this later on hits the century but for now it's Wigan against Saints and it's Academy Grand Final so how come the teams for the Academy Grand Final we've seen six this one could be the biggest one of all time Half time, not the best result wise so far. Wigan 6, St. Helens 10. Well, there we go, full time. And to be honest, it was always going to happen, wasn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, please Wigan Warriors 1922. St. Helens 10 for the fifth time in six finals for me. It's a Wigan Academy grand final victory. Brilliant final overall though, to be honest, really good. But, that's three in a row for Wigan. The names may change, but the outcome doesn't. Wigan Warriors Academy, best in all the land. There we go. Please show your appreciation for the runners-up, St. Helens.
You don't win 21 games out of 22 in a league season and then fall up short. You really don't. Time at DW, second game, Wigan 6, Salford with Devils 6. So, second half, out comes Salford, 40 minutes away from potentially facing St. Helens next week. So, full time to DW, and for the second time this evening, it's a Wigan victory. A little more closer than the Academy Grand Final. Wigan 18, Salford 12. It also means we're after the totally wicked next week again. That should be fun. As far as the week itself is concerned, it's back to football tomorrow afternoon. It's Games United, host Longridge Town, and Valley Park. Well, after the lovely double header in Wigan last night, we're over in Prescott this morning, this afternoon, sorry, for the visit of Longridge Town. First time they had two sides of met, apparently. Statistics 262 overall, 240 with Skem. First for me against Longridge. We've been the 100th team we've seen Skem play. In 240 games, 100 teams is some feat. Third new team in a row after Earlham and Quidden Shaw Town. Eighth game in the Northwest Counties. Well, it was two wins, two draws, and two losses until Tuesday. Better the third loss on Trivet. Could be the 80th overall loss. 40th football match in 2019 as a whole. It's 101 attendances for the year, which means we're just 18 shy of last year's record of 119. God knows how far that's going to go. It could go a hell of a lot higher this year. I think 120 is the goal, 125 would be a miracle. But this game against Longridge Town at 3 o'clock. So, half time and just like Tuesday night, it's not a good one. Longridge Town 3. Woods full time, Skemmage United 1, Longridge Town 4. So, check out JMO statistics for this one. Skem against Padium, 263 overall, 241 for Skem, first against these, 101st team, which is a Skem team play. Fourth for the new team in a row, looking to avoid four losses in a row. 19th game in the 1920 season, first game in the North West Youth Alliance, 41st football in 2019, 102nd attendance for the year as a whole. So, since that's the end of the week. Skemmage United 18 is 1, Paddy M0. Lovely. 